In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness. At least that's the way John begins his gospel. He's talking about God and Jesus and how, how they've always been together. And that apart from Jesus, nothing has been made. And apart from that revelation, nothing's been seen. You know, without light, I'm just an audible voice in the darkness. Something that you hear. But with light, it's something that you see. With light, you're able to uh, take in all that is encompassed. You're able to experience all that is going on around you. The Bible says that God's word is a light or a lamp unto our feet. A chance to check out the path, to see where we're heading, to know where we're going. To anticipate the obstacles as we see them coming toward us. To make sure that our feet are firmly planted, moving in the right direction. Light gives light. It illuminates. It helps us to see. Without it, I'm just a voice in the dark. You know, we could talk about light, what light does, how light affects and changes and alters. We could debate, discuss all the different elements of light. I think a more important thing to do tonight is to talk about the placement of light. In a room back in the first century, built into the wall was a little ledge. And on that ledge, the source of light could be placed, whether it was a candle or a lamp. That ledge held the light. And from that one ledge, an entire room was illuminated. With the room being illuminated, you could see anything and everything that was going on. The kids playing in the corner the husband reading the equivalency of the first century newspaper. But you could catch it all. You could eat a meal there. You could, you could play games. You could interact and entertain. But it all depended upon the placement of that light. And so when Jesus is talking to the disciples and the crowd that had gathered around him, in the Sermon on the Mount, he says this. He says, you're the light of the world. And no one, no one puts a light in its place, and covers it. And the implication is pretty amazing. The implication is that God has you where you are in order for you to spread light to everyone that you're around, your environment, your place in the room is critical. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight on Location. Location.